Hey, what's up guys? Today, another video on the CO2 project. What we're gonna do today is work on the interior of the actual scrubber stand. What we wanna do is address one of the points that I had uh, in a previous video around the noise that it was generating. Uh, what I wanna do is set this up on the inside so we can put all the sensors and the air pump in there. Now, to run the actual cables up through into the top section, we need to drill a hole all the way through the top unit and the bottom stand section. So I'm just using a 50 millimeter drill bit, which is actually going to be good. I can run a tube through it and that way everything can run up through that tube. Once the tube's in place, all I need to do is silicon around it, make sure it's nice and sealed and that it's not going to move. And that's where we'll be threading all the wires down through into where the sensor equipment is down the bottom. As you can see underneath, the wires come out the bottom. We can extend the cable down to where all of the equipment is. And now that that's done and the tube is all sealed in, we're gonna work on the bottom, which we're gonna drill a similar size hole. And that way that's where the air will suck up through underneath. But what I'm gonna do first is actually test this air pump just to see what the volume sounds like and how loud it is. All right, so this is how loud it sounds with the front of that uh, door or the lid off. So once I put that on, it will cut down uh, quite a big chunk of that noise. So I'm gonna try it again, this time with the tube on the intake. That way, hopefully it cuts down a little bit of noise. Now that didn't really do too much. So the next thing I was going to do was put some liquid nails down and actually run some noise reduction uh, inside the actual box, which the cheapest thing that I had available was to just run carpet. So I had a roll of it lying around outside and once I cut it out to the right size, I just stuck it up against the liquid nails and just used my nail gun to pop a few uh, little staples into it to hold it into the wood and after i did the one side i switched across and did all the rest of them and also put some carpet up against the uh, lid that goes on the front as well and this is the difference once i close the lid on it so the best way i could actually show the difference was to actually use the editing software that I'm using and show you the sound that's coming out of both the samples. Now this is when I just left the unit, uh, the pump in there by itself. And then after it was all done with the pipe and the carpet. So I know I'm not using an actual sound meter here, but what you can see between the before and after is the decibel reading on the software program, which is showing around 15 before any insulation or anything like that to kind of cut the sound down versus after we're going from like that 15 down to around that 22 23 type of mark which in decibel readings is actually a bit of a jump because sound isn't linear when it comes to decibel readings you can research that yourself um, so i'm actually quite happy it cuts it down to a point where i'm pretty happy that the sound isn't going to really be noticeable or distracting to anyone if you're in a, you know I was walking past or um, the neighbors or anything like that so it's quite um, acceptable for this test so now that we're done soundproofing the box what we're going to have to move on to next is starting to install some of the tubing and make sure we can get that air system up and running so make sure you like subscribe so you can keep up to date with this project thanks again for watching and we'll see you next time